Hey there, welcome to March. March is still cold around here. Boy, we had some big storms. Six feet of snow in the in the mountains, or more, maybe, by now. Kind of cool, uh, although a lot of things got destroyed around here. But uh, what is going on? It is March 2nd, Friday, March 2nd, and we've had a few, um, a few really, I, I've, had, I've had a lot of fun lately. I've been messing around with some songs. Ah, I don't think I could do any of this yet. Let me see. Well, there's enough of a hint. Um, one of my students started working on a really difficult arrangement, um, and I've been enjoying checking out some videos and performances by uh, Pete Hutlinger, and uh, who, you know, unfortunately, we lost too early a couple of years ago. But boy, phenomenal guitar player! I encourage you guys to check out some of his stuff. Uh, you've probably seen Muriel play "Superstition," and that was uh, that was Pete's arrangement that. And it was a great story. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll try to remember to attach that video to, to this or, or put it up so everybody can see what, I'm, what the heck I'm talking about. Um, let's see. The first thing I want to do, I, there's kind of a cool thing going on right now in Arizona. Um, many of our, I, I guess we could almost call them snowbirds. There's people that live in colder parts of the country and they're spending a weekend in uh, down in Arizona, kind of hosted or with, by a couple of our uh, TG and, and uh, ICG people. Bart and Ted, who uh, spend time, who live down there at, from time to time, and uh, seven or eight other folks from much colder places are out there visiting. I'll let, I just want to say hello to them. They're enjoying, they're playing music and going to baseball games. Spring training is just underway. There's a lot of, there's a few Cubs fans there, so I think they're seeing Cubs game and a White Sox game. I think if I went there, I'd have to see a Giants game probably, but uh, that might be on next month's agenda. Who knows? Oh no, baseball season does start in a month, so. Um, anyway, I'll let Bart tell more of that story. Uh, maybe maybe I'll get some pictures. It kind of reminds me of the history of TG Banners because it was many years ago now. It was probably 2010 that a few people got together in uh, in uh, New York. Um, one of those we still we still stay in touch with uh, with Bob Ring, who is I want to say special hi out there to Bob too, who was one of the original Banner people um, with. Uh, well, with some other people that have, we, we haven't heard much from in, in a while, but uh, it's always great to hear Bob tell the story of the banner that flew around the world. And I'm sure some of you remember, this, remember the story of the getting, getting it signed all over, all over the place. So, uh, Let's see, what did I want to talk about this week? Great to see more postings again from the Time Zone Zombies. Uh, it's, 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 it's always enjoyable seeing, seeing your tunes, and, and you're amassing quite the repertoire. Uh, having only spent a few, well, I guess... Anyway, not having spent a lot of time face to face, I'm sure. But and uh, let's see, this week too had a really fun Monday night. Uh, some of you have probably seen some of the, the videos that we that we put up. The last Monday of every month, Jim Bruno, our our vocal extraordinaire, uh, master of all kinds of things, um, has his students show up and play and perform with the band. And and so uh, this this week. I took my student, my other student, Fred. So you guys all know these people, Fred and Lisa and Sandy, um, and another IGC or Doug was there, Doug Case. So I want to say hello, hello to him, and that we will be. Uh, it was kind of cool to see everybody perform. This this thing that started with open mics going way back has just um, just blossomed, and the significance of of windy and warm that uh, that which I just you know, messed around with a little bit here too, is, is kind of cool because it was really the first song that Sandy ever played in front of anybody. And that was at the first camp on our Sunday night. Was it Sunday night or Saturday? It was the end of camp, which I think was Sunday. Anyway, doesn't matter. At the first open mic. And um, it, it kind of got the ball rolling and we sort of created a monster. But it, And now we, now we decided it was time to go back and look at some of those songs because as most of you know, she's spending a lot of time... Um, Singing songs now. So, 
Got a little fly on the wall video that had a lot of noise in it. I'm sorry about that, but it was so cold here. I had to keep the heater running while, while we were shooting the lesson. So, But I hope there's still some, some useful stuff in that. What else did we have this week as far as cool songs went? Max. Little well, Steppenwolf. It's funny, I think I think that was a song I meant to do years ago and just never got around to, like in our, our IRL days, intros, riffs, and licks. Um, that had you know, some of the coolest things in it. Anyhow, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, so thanks to Max for putting together the Steppenwolf lesson. Vanessa brought out a little, uh, let's see, that one's in B, I guess, huh? Best way to play in B is capo to the fourth fret and play in G, or second fret and think in A. But um, another Bruce Springsteen tune came out this week, Dancing in the Dark. And I finally finished something that has been just bogging me down. I think we now have the most complete lesson we've ever done that has like three completely different aspects in it. How to play it as a uh, solo. Got added. Anyway, finally got around. That was a really hard one to right out partly because I would always play it differently it's kind of like you just keep going you find the melody notes you, you add stuff here you take stuff out there and you just hope that it sort of works out so um, now that I've got that off my plate I can go back to some easier songs oh you know here's one Let's see if anybody recognizes this I'm messing with it. But again, a student brought to me this very cool tune, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on it. We'll see. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? I think that was about it. Um, let's make up something in D today. around with Bermuda Triangle Exit next week. Um, 
Next week, I think I've got a couple of cool back to easier songs to play coming up. So we'll, we'll see. Maybe we, we might be vis- revisiting the John Prine world. So let's see. Is there anything else I forgot to talk about? Nope. Nothing that, that was pressing, pressing for today. So, um, but I'll run through a little bit more of Ipanema. Let's see how it comes out this time. That's it. Be back next week.